three three out of four points, Randy, uh, from a very good hockey club. Did, did you like your club's compete level here? I thought we competed in the game, and uh, I thought we stopped playing in the second period for a little bit, but it wasn't as, as long and a, as a strenuous uh, game as it was the other night for us. Obviously, they're a good team, and they're at home, and you know they were going to come with a big pushback at some point, and I just thought in the third period we got more of our of what we needed to do. We could make a couple mistakes, the pucks in your net. And that's just really got to shoot out and the shootout seems to be a big thorn in our side right now. And But you gotta be happy in the big picture when you play a team like Boston, you play them back to back and you get three out of four and then you move on because you know we can't focus on, on the negative of losing the point tonight. We don't want to get too low on the shootouts or we don't want to get too high when we win them and we just gotta get ourselves ready now for Florida. Is there anything you can do to address the shootouts, like to work on it or do something? Well, we do work on it, it and we do provide video of what the opposition likes to do, what their goaltenders are like. And But again, it's it, it's a, an individual thing. It's one-on-one -on -one versus player versus another player. And it's those are the things that uh, all you can really do is provide the information that you think is, is important to the situation. And that's what we try to do. And then we try to work on it with our own guys and our own goaltenders. Would you like the tough for, for the Bozak line? Because of Char, or is that you need to see something more from them than what you saw in this last game? You know, you know that their Char is going to play up against Bozak uh, and Kessel. It, it, we know that. That's their mandate. It, they they make no bones about it. Every time they, that they're on the ice, they'll change one D just to make sure he's out there. But sometimes we, we you know, we got away from it for periods. But that's part of, uh, you know, star players in the league having to play against the best players in the league. JVR didn't see much action late in the third period there. Is that an injury or is he maybe not one of your top nine in the defensive situation? Uh, I think JVR has got some work to do in some areas and uh, the ice time is usually a reflection of how the coach feels about an individual and those are the things that happen within the game. He's been a great player for us but I think he's in a little, a little bit of a dry spell for us right now and you know we need him to get, a, get his feet moving and start to create more. Was that the same for Fratt and why you chose to no, I just did in in the, the situation that we were presented going into this building. I felt again Fratton hasn't scored and hasn't provided much offense, and we, we liked what Hamilton gave us the other night. And with the addition of Lupel back in, that was the decision the coaches made. Were Lupel and uh, Lupel and Kuhlman good catalysts for you tonight, Randy? Again, you know it, both guys scored, and uh, you know it's nice to see Cooley. That's the Kuhlman I remember, the guy that's got the big wrist shot and can skate. He's a big, strong guy, and. We know Lupul is a goal scorer and has been able to provide offense for us when he was went back in there. We just want to get a little bit more evenly spread out offense from our group. It just seems like we get one line scoring one night and then the next next night is somebody else. But we'd like to get all three lines going. What did you think of uh, Reimer's performance? Of a couple of busy games for him. Well, you know, again, NHL quality goaltending. That's that's what you need. He gave us a chance. Uh, I'm sure he's frustrated with the shootout as we are at times. But the bottom line is, is we got three out of four and we're going to move on. Jake still finding his feet a bit for you? Uh, a few times it looked like he was skating and uh, his skates weren't sharp. He was falling down and whatnot. But that, again, as a young player, and you know, it's not easy to come in and step in to, to the, the pressure that's involved in these games. These games are played at a very high pace, and there's a big difference between the American Hockey League and the NHL right now. What do you think of Koskinen's return to the line? I did fine. He gave us safe minutes, did his job. The room's open. Thanks, Thank you. Thanks,